Another video and today we are going to fix the rattles what are the rattles you may ask well you're probably already hearing it right now what's the other rattle you ask well let me uh, just go ahead and pull out real quick all right so the major one that people always ask about is how do you fix the rattle in the driver's side door on this part right here that because this rattles like crazy. Now the passenger one does as well, but not as bad, so I don't really care about it. But this one was really annoying, especially if you like don't have a sub or subs in your car, like period. You can definitely that one's that one's bad. And this one back here on the trunk, oh my gosh. That's crazy. Okay. Um so right back here on like this side, like right here, you can hear that. I don't even have it loud. It really rattles on this side. Um, this side, not so much. So, uh, yeah. I'm gonna be fixing that and that. Well, let me just uh, clarify. I have fixed this, the door handle one, already. Like, as soon as I got the car, because I was like, I'm not gonna deal with this. This is not gonna happen. So, uh, yeah. Um, that was a bug. Tools you're gonna need, pretty basic. Actually, get some light on. Not that flathead. Definitely this. Flathead. Get a flathead. It's uh, all you're gonna need, and also if you have a plastic prying tool, that's fine. Um, a paper towel. All right, you're gonna need a paper towel. Not even a full one. Now th this this may uh, seem pretty uh, easy to y'all, like pretty common sense, but some people are a little bit behind. You can wear the paint uh, mess up. I was in a rush to get to class and it didn't dry. And so in my left knee was resting against it. So now it, it turned out like that. Just haven't had the time. And I just get your flathead or plastic prying tool, any type of prying tool. You're gonna pry here, over here first. If you can, maybe a little bit more over here. Right there, pry up. And it's like already up over here. Just go straight up with it maybe maybe not I haven't done this in a while just that heck there there we go oh sh shoot okay no we're fine we're fine see anything different than yours no how about now how about well it's this right here it is a hair tie so you're gonna get a hair tie and cut it in wherever not really half you're just gonna cut it and then when you come over here to this, as I try to hold the camera with my knees, basically just gonna put this, just basically run it along this side. Run it along the side. So that's like perfect, like right here. Okay. So just like that. Just run it along the side. Just make sure it's not like any way of any clips. It doesn't mess up. <gasps> it's about to fall. About to fall. That's a good example to make sure it's not in any clipped ways. Um, <laughs> make sure it's not in any way of any clips. Bam! 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 Oh my gosh! Freaking! Oh my good. Okay, I had to get that off camera, but um, that, there you go. So basically, what I did was. See, there's a clip where the clip goes in. There, there, not there. But uh, you want to run it along the side, and I tucked it in right there. There's a hole right here. Now, let me snap that back. All right, I don't know why that was so hard, but there's a little thing over here, and you want to slide these freaking bugs. You want to you want to slide it in, push it in, and then go down. And that's how you fix the rattle. Okay, so now for this one, um, I haven't like seen this done before. Uh, I'm gonna try this. 
Um, I'm just going to get like a quarter of this off and then kind of fold it up enough to um, where I can just kind of jam it into there, I guess. And we'll see if that works. Okay, so I needed two hands to do that, but basically what I did was it was already kind of loose. So I just held it like that, stuck this in ever so slightly and gently, and I left it there and that held it open so I could squeeze this in. And so I'm just going to leave it like that, turn on some music pretty loud, see how effective this works. And then uh, if it works pretty good, just cut it off. Daniel over here calling me in the middle of the video. Daniel, why? What you need, bro? What you need? What you want? Hey, yo, what up? Wait, do what later? Daniel says hi, everybody. They said hi. So Daniel's coming by, I guess, and everybody else. And, uh, yeah. So, um, basically what we're going to be doing is, well, like, the rattle is fixed. But I'm gonna turn it up a little bit more. See what we got here. Uh, uh, it's still it's still rattling pretty heavily, but it's like a lower tone of a rattle. So I, I, I don't know if that's good. I want no rattle. We want no rattle. I just moved it down a little bit. So it was right there. And now under there. I was gonna try to do it under there. It wouldn't work. But that's definitely a lot better. But now this side's different. What the heck? It really only rattles at those high pitches, those high frequencies. So, oh, you know what was rattling? It was a freaking, this guy never set a flathead or any type of tool on your car. Tip number 562. It's in the race car rule book. That's what was rattling, not, not the other side. So we're good, we're good. Some type of, type of like sticky adhesive type stuff, maybe, I don't know. Or some type of sealant. You could use, I don't know, I, I'm just, I, I usually, I tend to do something the first time, see if it works uh, through rain, through weather conditions. If it doesn't work, just change it. It's not that big of a deal. So now what was I getting? Some type of cutting source. All right, I guess this will work. Let's go try it out. It's getting so dark out so fast. Ugh. All right, let's try it out again. This isn't gonna work, but you know what? Don't, don't. Dude, it's like all of, it's all that. It's just this. Well, this doesn't help either. Yeah. Anyways, so it's getting dark out, but the rattle's still there and it's probably not gonna go away unless I do something like ad adhesive wise. So if you guys wanna do that, go do it, but I, all I ended up doing was just pretty much a whole towel like cut and uh, put it, just jazzed it up in there. It's better than it was though, so it's fine for now. But later on down the road, adhesive is probably going to be the way to go. If you guys want to try it on your own, go for it. It's really not that hard. You might not have this problem, I don't know, but probably some adhesive would be the main solution. Long term solution, I should say.